Hello, in this tutorial, I'll walk you through the process of signing up to the Macquarie Bank. All right, so how do you create a Macquarie Bank account and how do you use it? So of course we know that Macquarie is an online banking platform that it seems we're diversified, we're the diversified financial group, providing clients with asset management and finance, banking advisory rigs and capital solutions so if this is something that you really want to opt in for then come on let's get right into it let's see how we can definitely sign up and get going so the first things first launch your browser now right here it's apparent i'm using google chrome now from your browser go ahead and locate the search bar so in the search bar type macquarie all right macquarie bank and then it's going to open up this window where you're going to see a lot of urls go ahead to check and confirm the official url so that it can take you to the official website which is what we're going to do now so this is it https so macquarie.com um, and then this is macquarie group limited global financial services so i'm going to click on that and it's going to take me to the official website awesome so i kind of like this um intro all right say so how partners i'm gonna have to accept all of these cookies cookies are sweat but you really know what cookies are okay so so reading the future of uk energy 20 years of investing in ireland um ireland's um economy and then a lot of this about their perspective and, and okay all right so here is macquery and we can now see that of us there are global financial services group operating in telephone markets 54 years of unbroken profitability and training all of this so slow in the future of uk and with all the things that you can definitely benefit if you sign up to macquery so i'm gonna go all the way up to see how we can definitely create our account to get going so First, we need to learn the countries that Macquarie is available in, okay, because you need to know if you are eligible to create this account. So I'm going to click on that, now to say the UK, and now this is a region. So Australia, New Zealand, Brazil, Canada, all of this. And then this is China, and all of this, all of this, this that's Australia and New Zealand, and then we have Asia, and then we have Europe, Middle East, and Africa. So scroll, scroll, oh my God, I'm so sorry about that. So I'm just gonna click that on and scroll all the way down. Oh, it's not allowing me to scroll down. Okay, so, so these are the, scroll up to, these are the countries are available. Okay, so these are the countries available and these are the regions. So go ahead and select the region that best suits you. Now, for me, in Nigeria and I uh, in here as part of the African countries, but that's not going to be my problem. I'm just going to go ahead to sign up because I'm literally not going to allow that to affect me. So scroll up and okay. So in the kingdom and many, many more, many, many more. So top right corner, you're going to see login. I'm just going to click on login. All right, click on login. Now it says corporate and institutional. So here are the accounts you can create and then Macquarie Maquettes, Macquarie Sprint, and then follow the links to find the logins you're looking for. Personal business customers, advisors, brokers. So let's say we want to create this personal and business. Okay. So here's um, a query personnel. All right, that's business banking advisors and all of this so macquarie so go ahead and click on macquarie online so here we can now create an account now welcome to a better banking experience and then macquarie id and password now i do not have this i'm new to this so i just want to create a new account and so i'm just going to scroll the way down it says um, new to internet banking register now so i'm going to click on register now now it says register for internet banking and this is the process that you need to go through to register for internet banking you need to be an existing customer hmm. 
and provide him a query ID and mobile number. And the query ID can be found in your new account email. So enter your query ID and then enter your mobile number. And once you do that, the used and create a new account. Go ahead and click on submit. But now, guess the unique situation. I do not have a Macquarie ID. I did not even have the phone number because I have not signed in or created an existing Macquarie account. So I'm just going to have to click on need help because some persons will be asking this question. How can I get all of these details at once? So for assistance, it says 24 hours a day, seven days a week, call us on this and then overseas. So if you are overseas and you need to call for assistance so that they can help you out with this um, Macquarie ID then, or help you out to create your account, then go ahead and call this number. So copy this number out and it's going to connect you to a member of the customer service team and you're definitely going to respond to you and show you how you can go about getting your Macquarie ID so you can create your account. So that's one. I'm going to head over to the Macquarie website where we started from. So here is it. So I'm scrolling all the way down to and I'll look for another way that we can definitely access the customer service apart from calling them. So I'm just going all the way down. So right here now you have um, one of these options. So you can follow them on their social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, or YouTube. So it's even much easier these days if you follow them on Twitter because you can follow them on Twitter and then head over to their DM and then send them a DM and say, Macquarie, I want to create an account and they're requesting the um, Macquarie ID, which I do not have. So how do you help me get that done? So once you send a private DM, they're definitely going to respond to you because these days people respond or organizations respond quickly on Twitter. So I'm definitely going to recommend that with everything I've got. So that's one. And then we have um, contact here. We have discover, we have news. So go ahead and click on contact. Let us get the contact information. So are you a Macquarie corporate and certified customer? I am not, I'm sorry. I just need help to just get into it. So they said, if you have all of this, mm -hmm, we're here to help. And you can learn more with that and then investor relations and media and investor contacts, media contact. So here are what you need for more inquiries. So if you are in the Australia and New Zealand, here's the number that you can call for you to reach out to them and let them know that you want to get your Macari Unique ID for Americans. Here, copy this, of course, and then place a call for Asia. Here, copy this, and then for Europe and East and Africa, here, copy this and you'll be able to access the customer service and they will help you just get right into it. So, and then here is their, um, of course, here is their investor contact. So contact investor relations, ask a question relating to investment in this. And of course, here's a physical address, but it is not the investment that we need. We want to see how we can create an account. So for all media inquiries, please contact the media relations team in your region. And I can go ahead and click on media contact. And once you click on media contact, you can now see all of the contacts. So here are the contacts. And then there are email options. So you can definitely opt for the email options. Click any of the email um, options in your region and send your complaints and let them know that you want to sign. You know, you want to sign up and you need your Macquarie ID. So here, here, here. So I'm going to go back to the page that we came from because I saw something that was really quite interesting. So. For those that are, you know, that need to get into the office, that's the in-office location so that they can get their media complaints there instead of reaching out to the customer service online. You can go ahead and click on learn more. And then now it says select the region, then you can now get their office location. So this is Australia and New Zealand. I'm just gonna click on that. So here are the locations. All right, these are the addresses. So here, copy this, copy this too, copy this, copy all of this. Here are a lot of locations 
for America, click on that and you're going to see more locations. It's even very easy because you can now go ahead and click on get directions to get to the directions to all of this in office location. So once you click on get directions, you can now get the specific directions on Google Maps. So Google Maps are just really going to help you. It takes you directly to Google Maps and all of these are just going to help you to access this location. So everything that you need is just available for you to access the bank and the customer service to help you have access to your account. So it is important that you get the Macquarie ID so that you can definitely, you know, get your um, get access into the online banking site. So this is pretty much it. You can go over this tutorial from top to bottom to get acquainted with the steps. And once you're done, you'll be good to go. I hope this video marvelously helped your search.